man versus slug. So the vegetable garden's doing pretty well, but today my children have decided it's time to repot their house plants. So this poor spider plant has got rather pot bound and uh, she is repotting it. This one is now looking really happy, just being repotted. And this one is going to look happy soon. The determinate tomatoes are doing really well, but we've got 12 of them. I think in our plan we only wanted four. Um, the indeterminate tomatoes, uh, sadly only four of them germinated, and we wanted to five or six in our plan. So we're going to have a few more determinate, a few less indeterminate, but we still don't need the 12 determinate tomatoes that we've got. So I'm going to pot uh, six of them up. Let me eat. <laughs> into uh, pot, noodle pots, and we're going to donate them to a local um, nursery sort of swap shop thing. Charity nursery, I guess it is. I was away for the weekend and I come back and find the garden has gone absolutely crazy. It's doing so, so well. Um, only slight concern, I think, is that some of these radishes look like they are starting to bolt. So I'm going to pull up a few um, and probably eat them for dinner. In with the radishes that I just pulled up, I found my non-slug nemesis bindweed. I think some of the weeds started to get through. Look at this amazing amount of radish. Oh. Slug! There's a snail too! Oh. I literally just put my finger under his head. Hopefully this snail will start to eat. I got some lettuce for this bunch of snails I found.
go. This lot of lettuce. For all the snail to enjoy. And that one's called Jill.